It's 2022, baby. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Bobby Snake World, and I am back with another video in 2022. We're going to start off the year right, man. I'm going to start a... I'm gonna try to get right into these stop dragging out the intro so much um but today we're starting off the year right we're going to do a heat or cheeks video man january 2022 this is going to be the most anticipated sneaker releases for this month um and i think this is going to be a month that a lot of us are able to recharge our debit cards, our bank accounts, our credit cards, whatever it is that you after pay, <laughs> whatever it is you use to purchase your sneakers. Um, because January seems very, very light. Um, I'm my my 2022 is gonna be a lot different anyway. I don't see myself chasing a lot of these releases just from the early images that I've seen. Obviously, there'll be a bunch of things that we have no idea is gonna be dropping, and then we'll get images then. But anyway, we're gonna start off. Um, let me explain. For those of you that are new, may just be you know coming around to the channel. And for first of all, if that big button down below is still red, you're doing it all wrong. Make sure the button is gray. Subscribe to the channel. Um, but heater cheeks is just going to be exactly what it sounds like. Is the sneaker heat? Is it fire? Or is it cheeks? Is it trash? That's what heater cheeks is. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get straight into it. I, I'm not gonna I'm trying not to say prices and dates because all of that stuff is so subject to change um, So I'm just gonna go through the sneakers and tell you my opinion if they release in February March April It is what it is. Don't shoot the messenger. This is what they got for January right now. Anyway Jordan 6 low atmosphere <laughs> I Got my phone here so I got uh, so I can observe what it is that I'm telling you got, these are terrible These are cheeks They're cute if you got a little kid, little little daughter or something like that, niece, uh, they're cute. Any adults wearing these, these are cheeks. Moving on. Um, next on the list, got the Jordan 13 Court Purples. Now, to me, these are cheeks. I said in a video either a year or two ago, I don't know how long ago a video was, uh that they were just going to whore out the jordan 13. i said all they're going to do they're going to be throwing purple and yellow and green and everything else on the on the um jordan 13 and that's exactly what they've been doing i think they got a yellow one coming out the orange one came out like it's just it it doesn't make it doesn't make it fire now this is only my opinion there's going to be a lot of people that want that sneaker I'm not one of them. Those are cheeks. Next on the list, Jordan 4 Red Thunder. <laughs> These are so hood. These are this is such a hood sneaker. To me, in my opinion, these are cheeks. I think that they have a lot of potential, but they missed the mark for me. Um something very minor that I don't like on this sneaker. Like where the tongue is, the, the red netting. I, for some reason, if that was black, I think I would like the sneaker. I don't like that that's red right there. The red netting on the tongue throws it off for me. Now, like I said, I know a lot of people will like the sneaker. People got these early. People are upset about the pushback. All of that. You're going to get your wish. They're supposed to drop this month. You know, fingers crossed for you guys with... You know, delay in shipment, stuff like that. But to me, those are absolute cheeks. Hmm, what is next on the list? Jordan 6 Chinese New Year. <laughs> Another low as well. Trash, man. These are cheeks. I, have I said heat yet? I have not. I have not said heat yet in this video. Come on, 2022, but... It's a lot of money being saved for me this month. I mean, it's some of these things that I've already ran through, people are going to be out in line for. You know what I'm saying? Wasting their forehead starts and wasting their, you know, finish line points. I'm just saying. 
those are those are trash i don't i think that might be a, i don't know if it's a women's release or not but those are those ain't it now the lebron nine watched the throne initially i was telling myself that i want that sneaker i was like yeah i, I, I gotta have that the more i look at it i don't like nines that is a nine right yeah i don't like nines big bangs though i'm like the more i look at it that is that's like a big man sneaker. Now, the thing about LeBron sneakers, they're all so bulky because they look good. He's 6'9", 255 pounds. They don't look crazy on him. On somebody 5'9", they look crazy half the time. Now, what Watch the Throne I would want that I'm going to probably trade and get is the 16 Watch the Throne. I like that one way better than the 9. I'm just saying. So we going I'm going to say they're cheeks for me, but I can see how other people would think they're heat. I think that them being retro or coming out for the first time and them being, you know, not dropping before makes people think like, yeah, I gotta have those. Now I'm not saying they're trash. Just not for me. This is one of those ones that's just not for me. Cause I initially th thought I wanted it. I don't. <clears throat> Now I'll tell you what is trash. LeBron 19s. I don't care what color they drop in. The 19 Christmas is coming out. Magic City. The whole silhouette. Magic City. They look trash on his feet. Scratch what I said on the 9. The 19 look trash on him and you. I'm just saying. Being honest with you. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just being honest. Um, all right, so now we have a OG coming out, an OG colorway in the Nike Air Moab, the end of trail, trail ends, trail end brown, whatever. Um, I, I think that the, now this might surprise some, I'm going to say these are heat. I won't be buying them. But this is the only sneaker so far on this whole list that I think isn't that isn't cheeks. I think that these are actually pretty cool. I don't want them, but I think they're heat considering. Um, I'm just saying, like that's the first one that I've seen that is heat. Y'all let me know. Now I heard rumors that the Nike Dunk Low Midas may be releasing this month it's already released last year overseas in europe i thought that i wanted it like i like man i really like like it's like a usc type colorway or something like that more i look at it seeing it on people's feet stuff like that i don't think i like it no more so i'm saying it's cheeks i no longer like it now a lot of things that you might think is fire or tr is trash then you see it on somebody's foot, like, damn, that actually looks way better on foot. I might actually want that sneaker. This one, it did the reverse. I liked it in images. Then I started seeing it on people's feet, and I was like, I'm glad I didn't get that. Those are cheeks. All right, now this may surprise a lot of people because they know I'm a huge Jordan 1 fan. Everybody may not know that if you're new, but I am a huge Jordan 1 fan prior to all the hype. Um, The dark marina blue Jordan 1s. I think those are cheeks i don't like them i do not like those like now i think that it's a solid enough colorway to be able to get some nice fits off but the sneaker itself i don't like the shade of blue um i don't like the dark marina blue whatever that is um yes i do have royals coming <laughs> um but i don't think that has doesn't play any factor into it i like i said this before something about it that color i don't like something about that blue is off to me and i don't like it so i'm going pa i'm not going to pass on it now now a lot of these things that i've said is cheek so far i'm going to try to pick up but i'm going 2022 is going to be my biggest year yet as far as picking up things for trade bait things that have monet like resale value i'm not going to necessarily be out trying to make money reselling this year i'm going to try to use these sneakers to try to trade for things that i really really want in my collection like things that are fire to me um that i'm going to try to wear more often 
that's what I'm gonna try to do in 2022. That's my goal. Um, so like the Thunders, the Red Thunders, the Marina Blues, different things like that. If I can obtain those, I'm definitely gonna hold on to those for trade bait down the road. Now there's another Yeezy that's coming out, the 500 Blush. I guess it's a re, uh, a, a retro or a re-release or something like that. I have no idea. All 500s are Magic City, so it really wouldn't matter to me how many times this thing has. I don't know. I don't follow 500s. Um, but I guess people really like the blush and I guess it's going to be kind of a big release I don't know if that's true or that's not true because like I said, I don't like that sneaker at all It's it's not it's not a good look. It don't look good on people's feet I think that's what throws me off some things do a lot of things don't and that's one of those ones that just even when people walk around in it, it's like Um all right, last one. This is going to be a quick video, hopefully. I mean, I talk enough, so maybe I drug it out a little bit. Um, but last one on this list that may release is going to be the Jordan 9 Particle Gray. Um, this is going to be another one of those that is not cheeks, but it's not for me. Um, I can't get I can't get jiggy with it. Um, so I want to say these are cheeks for me. But I can see how some people would like that sneaker and want it. I'm going to try not to bring things into my collection this year that I know that I'm not going to get any wares out of. I'm not going to spend $205 out the door. That's $200 for something I may wear one time. And then it's just going to sit in the cake. Like that's, I'm not doing that this year. Um, now, if I can help somebody else. If somebody want to hit me up before release days and be like, yo, can you help me with the particle grace? Put in a, a raffle ticket for me or something? No problem. Retail. Because I know it's not something I'm even going to go for or try to trade because it's going to be such a GR type sneaker that it's not going to have any trade value either. So if somebody wants it for the toe and they want some help, hit your boy up. Um, but anyway, like I said, that was the last uh, sneaker on the list starting off 2022. <laughs> January looking up pretty dry, like my lips. Um, so, hey, I'm not I'm not going to be buying a lot of personal pairs this month. I don't think I named anything on this list that was personal. If anything, I will reach back and get to watch the throne. Sixteen. Uh, mm, other than that, I can't see it. If I see, if I see the marina blue in hand and it changed my mind in person, maybe. Just because I'm such a big Jordan 1 fan. But as of right now, it's looking like all cheeks. Strip club action. OV! Taking over in the landscape of the kicks and copping any bricks. I'll fire you desire, my rock will maybe flip. It's easy, you never trip. Get them early, you never miss. No bot, but if they have make it to the court, they cap. Now welcome to Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, yeah, Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, Sneaker World.